Hi everyone, I'm going to continue this series of Sephardi Halakha here, the Yalkut Yosef, live in Israel by a beautiful park here. Nothing like breathing the air of Israel and sharing over some Hilchot Shabbat using the Saka edition of the Shulchan Aruch of the Yalkut Yosef. And let's learn some uh, Hilchot Shabbat, the laws of Shabbat together here on this fantastic, at the time, Thursday morning, one day before Erev Shabbat, Parashat Shemot. Enjoying breathing the air of Israel. There's nothing like it over here. I'll just get the camera into a good position, friends. And uh, I'll just sit back a little bit. And uh, we get a good view of each other. This is a book. And let's get started over here. We're talking all about Hatmana in the previous section. Hatmana naturally means in English insulating. That's the topic we are talking about at the moment. I believe we are in Simon 257. At the moment, let's just get a slightly better angle. Sorry about this uh, positioning, but uh, nothing like it here in Eretz Israel. Breathing, Baruch Hashem. May this be Lilu uh, Nishmat, Rabbi Leo D's uh, wife, and the two daughters that were murdered in Pesach time, the hands of cruel terrorists. And uh, just let's see brachot here in Israel. Okay. Left off in the last session within regards to Hatmana on an electric warming tray, the platter. Now we're talking about canned food, foods. Foods are canned. Can you, uh, what's the process within regards to that? We can learn about that. Mutalatet kusat, okay. Is it going to be allowed or not to do Hatmana? Mutalatet kusat shimurim. Shish betocho basar mvushal bektome. Betoch mayim chamim shibkli sheni. Okay, so it's allowed on Shabbat to immerse a can of cooked food in hot water in a cliche cliche is a utensil other than the one in which the water was cooked okay the inverse is sur hatmana we don't call this hatmana there's no isur of this she'en hatmana bo'ochlim there's no hatmana when it comes to food ve'chen chaticha basar or oh mevushelet kol sarka you've got a piece of meat or chicken that's been totally cooked muta laniach v'shabat betok tavshil rotea kedei lechamema you're allowed to put it inside a tavshil a hot tavshil in order just to warm it up. You remember, it's totally cooked. But avilu im hatashil nimtza ala plata. Ein isu lachnis lo tochor chaticha o mevushelet. Even if this tough shell is found, it's at the time it's on this electric warming tray. It hasn't got the isu of uh, cooking. If you're going to put it in, she'en bishul acha bishul beyavesh. When you've got a dry item over here, dava uh, yavesh. There's no. There's not the concept of bishul acha bishul. It doesn't uh, apply here. The gum. There's no appearance of cooking when you're using the plata itself. So uh, usually when maybe you put it inside the fridge or whatever it might have been, a, or you've got cold milk and you want to warm it up, there's no issue of it. If you take this bottle of milk and the baby bottle and you put it inside some hot water in a cliche, obviously, not clear to warm it up, there's not, no problem with regards to that. You're not allowed to warm up the milk in a clear rishon. When it comes to a liquidy item, there is that concept of bishul achar bishul over here. So that's uh, so you can't do it in the clear rishon. Vav shish shikto katvu lakel the bishul no sab berotev mishum mitzamek veralo sheharotev mit ada. There's this concept that some people might be lenient on this because it doesn't get better; it gets worse over here. Ruben Yerucham. In parenthesis, it says, Not all things that are liquidy will actually become worse. Some things might become better. So that's another problem within regards to why we can't do it. Some people are holek, are arguing, whether are differentiating an opinion. If we're talking about putting water to recook, some watery, or something of a liquid form, of a cooking form. Sometimes you don't really care if it becomes hot. Sometimes you do care if it comes out. When it comes to milk, we should be strict within regards to this. Maybe other things, it's something to be questioned on. 
the tokli rishon. Okay. If, nevertheless, if you do put the cooked milk up before Shabbat inside a kli rishon, or manicha ala plata, or esh mechusa, but you're going to put it on side like you play, or on this uh, covered file. V'omed li ado la shkiach shachalab lo yegiya lachom sheyad tzelet bo. Yesh lakel. If we're going to be strict there, it's not going to come to the status of yad tzelet bo. Then there's something to be lenient on. Kol shedavar na'asel et tzorech tinok. Only if it's for the purpose of a baby. If it's for the reason for the baby, then it's going to be loud. Okay. So now let's see the next halacha over here. We are now in Halacha Zayin, in Siman 257. Now, what, the question is, if Atmana was done, when it was forbidden? What, 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 what's uh, the next step over here? Hatmin, Tashil Shabbat. Hatavshil Asul Shabbat, Afilu It's if you've done all this stuff, which you weren't meant to do with regards to Atmana, then even Bidiyavat, you cannot eat from it. Vadavka Imatamin, Tavshil Tsonen, Shnitramim Alide Atmana. This is specifically if it was something cold that you did the insulation with. Uh, or if it was something hot and it became better because of the hot mana. Aval, aval, big words here. Okay, if the food was already completely cooked and his insulation only maintained its temperature, have maintained it, didn't make it better, or what? It may be eaten on Shabbat, although it was forbidden to wrap it in that matter. You did something, the person did something wrong by wrapping it in that matter, but we were not going to give him the penalty of not eating it on Shabbat. If it was, you insulated it, with something that didn't increase the heaven over here, which we talked about before, did not raise the temperature. A sense that the, this insulation actually protected the temperature itself, but the Abad, it's uh, permissible to eat it, but Lacha Achila, no. Now, the question in Halacha Chet is we're talking about Hatmana in an oven. Is that going to be allowed or not, friends? Let's see. Kava Biranu. Okay, very interesting over here. We explained above that if one leaves food, leaves food from before Shabbat in an oven that's turned on already, it's allowed to shut the oven door on Shabbat, and this is not considered an act of Hatmana. However, if the oven door is open and the food inside has not yet been completely cooked, then you cannot close it again. And also on top of that, someone might wanting to close it just because of the reason of dust or dirt coming inside. No, that's not a reason enough now to close it. You must not close it under those circumstances. You've got a tafshil that hasn't been totally cooked to its necessary needs. Okay, something that hasn't been totally cooked. And it's, not, it's, it's on the kira, on the stove. Or And it's on the electric plate where you've uncovered already the cover of it. You cannot put that cover back on. If it's been totally cooked, then you are going to be allowed to recover it. We've got to be careful that when you do remove this cover pot from a pot, when it's on a hot plate, we've got to be careful that these droplets of water that is maybe attached to the cover does not actually cook itself because those droplets can cook if they fall down. That would be an issue of cooking. It was a uh, you didn't have intention for it over here. So it's not really classified as an abeira. It's a sin. You've got to ideally be careful in all these cases, even if you're not benefiting from it. Okay. If this actually occurs, one doesn't have to actually repent from it, but we should be strengthening ourselves and being careful and learning more Torah the whole time. And that very much, we've got to do it anyway, even if we 
are just doing mitzvot, but uh, we should strengthen ourselves. It's a sign that we've got to be careful in everything we do. Now we're talking about thermoses, friends. What's a halacha within regards to a thermos on Shabbat? Muta la'arot be Shabbat maimrot kim mekli rishon. You can take hot water from a kli rishon, the kli itself. Avpilu mekli rishon im tsa ala palata. Even this kli rishon that's found on this electric plate. Letoch kan kan al suit la mit betocho chom hamayim be meshech met laet. And he kill a tormos. Vele chasuto be papak shalav. Vein la chashush bezem yishum isu atmana. You can take a thermos uh, flask and pour directly into that, and we don't classify this as uh, the halacha of Hatmana over here. And you can even take this lid of the thermos, open it, and then twist it uh, as strong as you like, and we not, it, it, it's not a problem over here. Viliskoro. Ve'en beze isu atmana. So what's it saying over here? Likewise, it's allowed to pour hot food on Shabbat into an insulated container made especially to preserve the warmth of food inside of it and to shut its lid over that. This is permitted even if the food has not yet been completely cooked over here. Ve'avim atavshil lo nit b'shel kotzarko muta l'aniach b'toch ha'mitkana anirali. Ve'chen muta l'aniach b'shabbat. Mashkoot karim so the question could be posed, what if you want to keep the water cold as opposed to hot and it's special flasks in order to keep the water cool? You can also do that within regards to that. We're not worried within regards to that. We can have cold, pour cold drinks into thermoses to preserve the cold temperature, which is opposite to uh, the other thing. So let's try and fire away two more halachot before we conclude this fantastic session over here. Halachot yud. Okay, We talked about that the prohibition of Atmana on Shabbat is to wrap the Kli Rishon. The Kli Rishon is to wrap the pot in which the food was cooked in some insulating material. However, over here, if the food is poured out of the pot in which it was cooked into another container, it's going to be allowed to wrap that container in an insulating material that does not raise the temperature of the food, such as a blanket or other garments. Okay. Tashil Shove, I'll read again. Tashil Shove, Likdera Akhelet. Afilu Shua Dein Kha, Muta, Let Me Know Be Shabbat, But the Bash Enum is to heaven. Something that's not raising the temperature. Kugon, Smichot, Gadim, Vukdome, Bechen Muta, Lachasot, Bogadim, O Besmichot, Seme, Kedera, Shish, Betochot, Tashil Sonen, O Tashil Shino, Ham, Hom, Shiat Selebo, Afilu Umit Kaven, Lafik, Sinato. So friends, what's he talking about here? And says over here, likewise, one may wrap a pot of cold food, you might have cold food for one reason or another, or a pot of warm food that is cooler than temperature of Yatzelitbo in blankets or garments. However, one may not wrap any food, hot or cold, in material that can raise the temperature of the food. Even if one wraps it before Shabbat, so davar mosif evel, it's problematic even before Shabbat. Okay. Yud Aleph. We're going to talk about. We're going to wrap it up here. Very short halacha. Mitzvah latzmin b'Shabbat. The derech amuteret kedei sheochol chamin b'Shabbat. It's a mitzvah actually to use this uh, algorithm, this formula of hatmana on Shabbat. If you're using all the correct parameters, you're doing everything in the correct way, because we want to have food hot food on Shabbat and one of the delights of Shabbat is this concept I talked about in the previous segment of Onik Shabbat it's adding to Onik Shabbat if you eat hot food because it's the honor and the delight and the joy of Shabbat for that specific reason itself to have it and I think we're going to wrap it up here we've got a very nice exciting session next time we are going to speak about next time about preparing oneself for Shabbat coming in so guys Wishing you all a fantastic day here from Israel. I'm wishing you just blessings. And take care. And please watch over and share and like all the videos which I've done.